Hey, it's Mahesh here. I'm at the Gentleman and Rogues Club in Bournemouth, and today I'm going to be cutting Ricardo's fringe <laughs> and beard. <laughs> My distinct lack of fringe. What I, what I don't want is I don't want my fringe going in my eyes. Or looking like Tom Jones. I don't want to look like Tom Jones. <laughs> it's not unusual. <laughs> hey. Hey! Hey! hey. <laughs> okay. Ricardo. So you've got an elaborate name, haven't you, for... Portuguese name. You've got a Portuguese name for a white Welsh man. <laughs> There's, there is a story. Oh, go on then. I'm li I like stories. So, my, my name, uh, my, my birth name is Rich. Richard is boring. Um, but my, my grandfather, um, my grandfather always, always called me Ricardo after Ricardo Patrese, the Formula One driver. I have no idea why. Right. Um, but a couple of years ago, when, um, when my gramps um, passed away, um, it just started to stick and my family just started calling me a little bit more um, and so yeah now quite regularly I go by Ricardo I like it yeah. it's a cool name because because of my gramps and it's a nice re that's a nice what a nice reason to do it because of my gramps well done Thank you. what was his name him Ray Ray uh, Ray. Ray we'll dedicate this video to Ray then shall we yeah that'd be nice okay so you've driven a long way. A long way. Four hours taking you to get here. Four hours. Traffic. For a fringe trim and a moustache tidy up. Yeah. Okay. So, as we can see, I want to tell, I want to show the people this. So, how long have you been growing your beard out? Um, about three and a half months. Three and a half months. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm going to just... I'm going to turn the music down, mate, because it's too loud. So you've been doing, you've been growing your beard out for three and a half months, mm -hmm. and you said to me that you're having an issue with the moustache, mm -hmm. and I can see that you're having an issue with this, yeah, yeah. and you said you hate this bit <laughs> and this bit. So this is really going to be a great video for those people that are growing their beards out for the first time, or second or third time, who will come across these issues when they're growing their beard out, won't they? Okay. So what I'd like to do is we're going to retain the length through the front. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to taper in these sides and we're going to get rid of that. Okay. So we're going to create this shape like that. Cool. All right. Yeah. We're going to clean up the line, maybe give it a little taper so it blends in with your hair mm -hmm. and what I probably will do is cut a little V in here and then just start to shape out this moustache. Now you've got a good moustache, mm -hmm. it just needs tw tweaking and tidying and making look... Some tender loving kid. Yeah, it needs a bit of TLC. So with the hair you normally just clipper it down to the wood. Yeah, yeah. But um, I think what we'll do is we'll do the, the clipper on the top just down to the wood and then we'll just foil the sides in just to give you a bit of shape. So when it grows out, it lasts a little bit longer. Um, and then we'll tell you to f off. Cool. All right? Med. Okay. We'll do the hair, get that out of the way first. Cool. So I'm gonna in, integrate the beard by just cutting that line in. And we're just gonna go in, bare clippers. I'm just going to take this off. You're perspiring a little bit there. Yeah. Are you are you just hot naturally? It's just warm today. You just you just you, I can feel it coming off of you. <laughs> it's also I'm I'm in England today, so your weather's better than ours. Is it is it you're nervous that because you, you're surrounded by lots of English people? Yes, definitely. There's no prejudice in here, mate. <laughs> you're all right. So I'm going to be in Spain next week. Really? And it's going to be 38 degrees out there. Wow. I'm probably going to melt. Yeah, we, we won't we won't see each other for about two weeks, Carlos. Yeah. 
good. Need a break. <laughs> Okay. Ah. Oh. Now that 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 service in it. Joe, you know I I came I came for the haircut and trim, but I stay for the service. There you go. Ah, <laughs> oh, me. So I just got my dryer on cold. We don't have air conditioning in here, so so a little bit of talc on your head. <laughs> <laughs> Just to try and counteract some of that moisture. Okay, Ricardo, you ever had the foils on the side of the head? No. Nope. So it will just take it literally down to nothing. Um, hold on. Before we do that, let's take the shape in here. There you go, Jack, there's your thumbnail. So just have a little feel of that. Wow. That's as smooth as a baby's bottom. Smooth as a bonnet of a Porsche. Oh. Smooth as a bonnet of a Porsche. Yeah. So we're not going all the way up with these foils, we're just going around the edges. Just so that when it grows out, it just looks like a bit more of a shape. Because at the moment, it won't really look any different. Ricardo's quite fine hair, so it won't really look that different foiling the back and the sides. But when it all settles down, you can see his skin goes really red when you use the foils, but that will just calm down. That's blood coming to the surface. You've got quite sensitive skin? Very. Yeah. So that's just blood coming to the surface of the skin because I'm aggravating the skin. That's why I put condition. That's why I put um, talcum powder on your skin first. Yeah. Just to stop it from getting so much friction. Okay. So as that grows out, that'll look. Eat. It'll look a bit more like a shape. So if you leave it for a couple of weeks. The sides will be a bit shorter than the top, so it won't look so tennis ball when you grow out. All right, man. With, so, with Wimbledon over the last couple of weeks, I felt like I felt like a tennis ball well, the last few days. Well, I, I mean, I felt like a cricket ball <laughs> as we as we won the World Cup. I say we. Um, I didn't really anything, have anything to do with it. I mean, I trained everybody, but well, apart yeah, from that, obviously, what, what else did I do? Nothing. So now we've done. The hair, we don't have to worry about that so much. Uh, it gives me an idea of like where we're going to blend the beard from. So uh, what I'm going to do, because we've got this ridge in here, mm -hmm. I'm just going to dry it out a little bit first. So I'm going to put a little tiny bit of styling balm in and we're going to dry that and then I'm going to style that out, okay? So I'm just going to put a little bit of the Four Vices one on, okay? Have you smelt Four Vices before? No. Okay. So it's nice, it's got a real subtle smell to it. Yeah, it's nice. So a little tiny bit. So I'm not going to use very much. A little bit goes a long way. That's what I tell the wife anyway. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> As I'm stroking your beard. Yeah. As I'm stroking my, your beard. Okay, so we're gonna get the round brush. I'm gonna turn it under and use the nozzle.
does smell nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like when you dry it in, you can really smell it. This is the area that's causing the issue. This area through here. So I'm going to just take that off through there. Now it looks like I'm taking a lot off, but actually it will change the shape of the beard quite dramatically. And actually the length is not coming off from the front where this is where the length comes from in a beard, mm -hmm. not from the sides. Okay. So this is all about just creating the right shape for you and taking away the areas that you're having problems with. And what I did do was when I dried it, I dried it the opposite way to way, the way it was growing. Right. So that it, when you're drying your beard and you notice there's a kink going one way, if you dry it the opposite way to the way that the kink's moving, you'll find that actually you can, you can get rid of that kink a lot quicker. Okay? Oh, cool. So if, if the kink's pushing your beard forward, dry it back and then dry it down. So just soften that line slightly there. Take away that back bolt. And this is all about you now having to maintain this just during the, the duration of like the growth. So this is gonna be the, the initial new shape of your beard. Mm -hmm. And then it's all about you then taking that shape and going, right, okay, so this is what I want from my beard really. And then anyone who's sort of growing their beard for the, for the first time and they're getting these issues, so if you've noticed, actually, now all I've done is, from the front, all I've done is evened it up. It actually looks like a longer beard now because the focus isn't on these sections through the side. Mm -hmm. Focus is on this front bit of your beard and it looks completely different. But it's about a shape. It's mm -hmm. about, about creating shape and and working with what you've got. And some intention behind it. Some intention behind it, yeah. You know, a lot of people will come in and go, okay, we're just gonna take that shorter because it's annoying you. Well, I haven't actually taken it really shorter. What I've done is I've just created a new shape in there that's, that's working for the, the way that your beard grows. All right, so I'm gonna taper these little edges in just slightly. So I'm gonna come in with a two and I'm gonna open my guard up just halfway. So it's 2.5 really, and I'm gonna come down. And I can hear how much is coming off. And I'm just gonna soften that edge with it. And then you can see from, from one side to another that that's got a lot less weight now to it. It won't kink out, you won't get that issue. Whereas this side, because it's still got quite a bit of weight on it, you still might get that kink coming in here, but you, I haven't touched any of that length through the front. So all it's doing is scooping down, just taking off that little bit of weight, and then I'm just coming along the line, and just taking out that. And I'm, and I'm listening to what uh, Clipper's doing. So I know how much is coming off every time I scoop down. Okay, just look up for me a little bit. Okay, back down. Back to your moustache. So I'm gonna keep the length through this section here and I'm just gonna take an angle ever so slightly through here. Because you said to me, and you look down, it's almost like looking at a spider. Mm -hmm. It's just the, 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 sh the shape of your moustache, really. It's just it's how it grows out. Some people's moustache grow outwards. 
which is what yours is doing. Just, you know, some people's naturally just curl over mm -hmm. and yours isn't doing that at the moment. Right. But as you grow yours out, you might find that it eventually will do that. But for now, let's just give you a better shape. A bit of shape. Something that you can happily, you know, sit with and live with. Yeah. Look better? <laughs> yeah. Doesn't look like the same beard, does it? Not at all. So we're going to just put some for I think we've because we foiled this. I think I'm just going to just taper this in with the cutthroat, clean it all up with the cutthroat, and then. The hair underneath your beard, I'm going to leave to soften so that you're not going to constantly have to clipper it all the time. All right? Okay. And then we'll be ready to rock and roll. Okay, so where your, where your beard's naturally, your neck hair, I'm just going to soften that on the edge. Okay. Okay, because I know you want to sort of grow this down a little bit. Yeah. And all I'm going to do is by clippering this off completely underneath here, it's just the way that your beard grows up and out. If I keep clippering this underneath here, it's going to constantly be itching because you're constantly having hair regrowing. Okay. okay, and you're going to find that your beard won't thicken up because this is the bit that's going to make your beard thicken up. Right. Okay. Yeah. So all I've done is just soften those edges on the on the neckline. It will, you know, when you look forward, look, it will look clean and tidy. Cool. All right. Okay, so we're just going to put a little bit of cutthroat across the... Oh, don't do that. <laughs> you shouldn't jump then. That's because I, I was like relaxing into just stroking his face. <laughs> I bet you're glad, Ricardo, I wasn't shaving you then. Um, a little bit, yeah. This is my first time with a cutthroat. Is it? Yeah. So your first time with a cutthroat, mm -hmm. and the first time with a foil today. Yeah. Take, we've properly taken your virginity today, haven't we? You have. First, first time to Bournemouth? Second time to Bournemouth. Oh, oh, I, I was going to say, he's from Wales. If he hasn't been to Bournemouth, that's really bad. Everyone from Wales has been to Bournemouth, mate. Right? It's their uh, holiday destination, isn't it? We, I, well, I, I came, here, came here with work because it was, wasn't as interesting as a holiday. First time with Gentleman and Rogue's Club as well. My first summer in Bournemouth, I went down to the beach. All I could hear was the Welsh accent. <laughs> that was 10 years ago. I'll go and see if I can find any of my countrymen and stuff down there. Look at that big old Johnson. <laughs> okay, Ricardo, what are we saying? That's, oh, Adder Air Fog or something like that. That's Welsh for excellent. Oh. Wee! Mein wee. Mein wee. Yeah. Sounds German. I, I know. I'm rubbish at Welsh. Where are you from? From <laughs> Wales. <laughs> Classic. <laughs> so the, the thumbnail to this is Mahesh cuts the worst Welshman's <laughs> beard ever. I'm the worst Welshman in the world. Okay. So let's put your glasses on. Can you see well without your glasses or not really? I can see all right. Yeah, so. Uh, as they say in Wales, fabulous. As they say in Wales, me mega. 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 So, what I'm going to show you 
is that shape there. Yeah. Yeah. So you won't you won't get that that issue that kink. kink yeah. And I've just tapered it ever so slightly as it goes in towards the hairline, which you can see is like there's nothing there, and then there's a little bit of hair just on the top. Like I say, so when it grows out, it looks better. Super cool. All right. Super cool. Okay, cool, man. Dude, you're looking for the world's most amazing product? Then grab yourself some utility balm. It works on your body, works on your beard, on your hair, on your face, anywhere that you want to hydrate and moisturize. Grab it over at beardbrand.com and upgrade your life. 3.4 ounces is gonna last you a long time.